Steve Bowers and Cassandra Fuller. Welcome to you two six in the city. That's right. We got, we got a studio full. Oh, we got a studio full. We got a great group today. Yes, we, we did. We've done a studio six with them, so we got exciting things happening. We're going to do football Friday night, so here we go. Uh, it's time for football. It's time for oh football already. Oh, my gosh. Already. Oh, my gosh. What about this show? Well, Melinda Reed is here. She's with Lifeline Blood Services, and they have a, an event coming up the 22nd, which is two days from now. If you're watching today, it's Saddle Up and Save Lives. So we're going to find out more about that. Tony okay. Black is here. He's representing the East Jackson Church of Christ because they have a First Responders Appreciation Day okay. right around the corner on the 24th. And then Beth Ann Simpson is here. She's director of downtown development. There's new businesses downtown. There's what? Food Truck Friday that's coming up. She's Lots doing of too good a job. I know. We need to I slow know. her down. That's talk. right. Don McGorry is here with Dr. Dexter Davis, and you know what that means. That means it's time to play golf. That's right. It's time for the AACC golf tournament that's coming up September the 10th. Right around the corner, we'll find out how you can enter a team yes. and sponsor and all that stuff. Beth Kaufman and Haley Fortune are here because it's time again for the charity gala and patrons party. It's right around the You're corner. You're kidding. Yes, I yeah. know, but yeah. it's November, but we're doing a little pre-planning here. we got pre so. in September. Okay, That's right. We'll find and out then our that. entertainment today is going to be Brooke Cagle we'll and friends, friends yes. and then we're going to sit and, and have a chat with Brooke. We'll talk to her and find yeah. out what's going on in her life That's and right. career. Find all out right. who all her friends are well, today. Well, that's all set and ready to go if you're ready. Let's do it. We're good to go. Yeah, on this Six, Six in, in the, the City. city. I'm Mark Taylor. I'm the owner of Renew Biomedical Services based out of here in Jackson, Tennessee. We're a provider of uh, biomedical services for medical professionals. At Renew Biomedical, our use of telecom is of utmost importance. We have to reach our customers in a timely fashion so we can diagnose and service their equipment needs. So e Broadband allows Renew Biomedical to connect effectively with our customers in whichever way they choose, via email, phone, Skype, teleconferencing, and any way you can imagine. Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong a place to forge their future. Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry, I don't think it looks right. This I is good, that. and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. Well, Linda Reed is with us, Lifeline Blood Services. That you always know kind of dictates is. our conversation. I know, right? You know what she's wanting. <laughs> you know. She's like a vampire. <laughs> she blood. every blood. day. <laughs> I know. I always have something to talk about. Yeah, and that's, that's right. It's always related it's to always blood. It's always blood donation. Yes, there, there you go. Right. All right, now you got a special drive coming up this week, Thursday of this week, which will be the what, 20? 20 22nd. 22nd. Right, 22nd. Yeah. And this month is already yeah. wrapped up. In. I, let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about the 25th, and we're four months away from Christmas. I, I we're not going to mention it. Summer has just flown by. I know. Yeah. It's gone. It has right, been so quick. what's happening on the 22nd? That is our Saddle Up and Save Lives Western Theme Blood Drive. It is, is all day. Is a new thing? The new thing? New it is kind of a new theme. Okay. We kind of shake it up. Uh, the blood drive at the end of the summer is always a, kind of a different theme. Okay. Um, then we have our tried and true All-American, you know, for the fourth. The right. vein drain, the which vein is so drain, popular yeah. at Halloween. Um, so, yes, this is the blood drive that was eight weeks from the previous one. So if you donated at that last blood drive um, at the oh, end of so you're June, eligible you're eligible again. So and we're it's still, see how she times that. I yeah. know, right? But and, and also you're still you'll still be in the running for the the vehicle, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, it's a that's still Memorial Day, right? Labor Day. Right, Labor Day. Labor Day. Start, kicked it off Memorial Day. We'll wrap it up Labor Day. Yes. So you'll mm -hmm. have a chance to enter to win once more for the Ford Bronco Sport. And so what we're going to do when we settle up and ride this Thursday? <laughs> what happens? That's right. We're lassoing our donors, new donors, and our committed returning uh, 
blood donors. Um, pop in anytime on Thursday. No appointment is necessary to donate whole blood. Every donor will receive a voucher to redeem at Texas Roadhouse for a free salad, oh, burger, okay. or sandwich. Okay. That's so nice of them to donate. And uh, a limited edition uh, theme t-shirt that matches the Saddle Up and Save Lives Western theme. And, of course, you can enter to win. Donors 18 and up, the Ford Bronco Sport. We also have a prize package. The list keeps going, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, catch my breath. The prize package is for two tickets to the upcoming concert here at the Carl Perkins Civic Center for the Tracy Lawrence okay. concert. Okay. That's coming up on October the 3rd. And so you can win two tickets to that as well as a gift card to Logan's Roadhouse. So you can have a fun night out, a date night, girls' okay. night out, whatever that may look like for you. Um, and so that's exciting that uh, we have some really great incentives to come on in and donate. That's right. Okay. Lots of incentives. So yeah. what do people need to do to donate, Melinda? Especially so what, if they have never done it before. If they've never done that before, just make sure that you're well-fed, well-hydrated, that you're not currently taking any antibiotics. And kind of steer clear of the coffee and the caffeine, uh, dairy that morning for breakfast if you're coming in. Um, it, in the morning time to donate. Sometimes that can affect your iron levels oh, in your okay. blood. So okay. I want to encourage people just to kind of steer clear of that. Treat yourself to the coffee or the loaded iced tea or monster drinks after yes. you <laughs> donate. And uh, bring your ID with you. It's a really quick process. It's 30 to 45 minutes from start to finish. And you're in the donor chair a mere 8 to 10 minutes on average when you donate blood. Okay. So it goes by pretty quick. Okay. How are we doing? We're doing good. We're okay. doing good. Now, we do have a need for O negative, B negative, and A negative. So it's all about the negative all the blood negatives. types today. <laughs> o, o, A, and B. A and B. Okay. O, A, and B So negatives. if that is your blood type, of course, we'd love to see you ASAP, but you can also feel encouraged to come on Thursday because your blood type is um, definitely needed at the moment. We welcome and love all blood types because every blood type saves lives. And when you donate blood, you're impacting it up to three patients' lives here in West Tennessee. We serve 21 counties, so we have a big footprint and mm -hmm. a big job to do, and we can't do that without our volunteer blood donors. And the Saddle Up and Save Lives is only occurring at the Jackson Center, right? That's right. Just Jackson. We love our Dyersburg <laughs> Center. And we are so grateful for all of those donors that support that center as well. But we're just going to be Western at the Jackson, Jackson Center, Jackson. which is at 183 Sterling Farms Drive this Thursday. Um, and then the Dyersburg Center, you can donate anytime you'd like over there. And um, they also do platelet donations over there. And that's um, driven by appointments. Okay. And all that information is on our website at lifelinebloodserve.org. If you'd like to know more about what we do or how to make an appointment um, to be a platelet donor or just where our blood mobile is going to be, all of that's on our website. And even if you donate at the Dyersburg Center, you're still... Uh, eligible to win the Absolutely. Ford Bronco, right? Okay. They are they are so included okay. as well as our blood mobile blood donors. Okay. Yes. Well, we're sending back into fall and getting back into school. Some That's other right. things, but it's good. Yeah, people are finding their right groove, now. their yeah. pattern. I'm still trying to right. find that. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, but yes, we are awesome. we are so thankful for all of our donors and look forward to a big crowd this Thursday. Saddle up and right. ride this Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. Thursday. Save lives. Nine a.m. to six p.m. 183 Sterling, Sterling Farms, Farms Drive. You got it. Consent. Yes. Thank we you. Come back, we'll Thanks, talk, Melinda. Talk first responders. That's we'll talk right. to Tony Black. Maybe slip a little football talk in here. We continue. <laughs> uh, -oh. uh oh. Six, Six in, in the, the city. city. I'm Dr. Keith H. Taylor, owner and CEO of the Mid-South Dental Implant and Oral Surgery Center. Our clinic is unique because it offers oral surgery suites, general dentistry suites, as well as a fully run operating room. E Plus Broadband has never let me down. The reps that actually gave me their personal phone numbers, that they definitely were compassionate. They knew that some of the technical terms they were using I couldn't understand, and they broke them down to me. And I, I thought this went a long way. Thank you, E Plus Broadband. For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Move over. It's the law. When approaching work vehicles or crews, move over to create a safety zone. It protects utility workers, law enforcement, firefighters, and emergency personnel. It's not an option. Slow down. It could save a life. Stay safe. Move over. For nine years, the READ team has helped over 2,200 second graders read better through coaching and friendships. Students have increased their word recognition by as much as 300%. Reading on grade level opens the door for Google searches, driver's licenses, and career opportunities. Invest one hour a week to give our second graders every chance to read on grade level. Go to thereadteam.org to sign up. 
three team, changing our community one word at a time. In partnership with JMCSS Leaders Education Foundation and United Way of West Tennessee. But you already knew that because you can read. Tony Black is with us from the East Jackson Church of Christ. Or it's the capacity he's with us today. That's right. Big, many things in your life. How are you doing? He wears, he wears many good. hats, but today right, so, his hat is... Cassandra so has stepped up her, her sneaker game. Yeah, she got, the, she got the sneaker look now. She's got it going on. Trying Sandra, to get him have, to have get his... You've been keeping him under control. Uh, you know, he's a Hall of Famer. I now. know, I know. Big time. <laughs> oh, That's why he can't congratulations. step up his sneaker <laughs> game. Well deserved. Tony, thank you. Well thank you very much. That's much appreciated. we got a big day coming up this Sunday, the 24th. of Saturday. Saturday. The 24th. 24th, yeah. Church 10 to 2, the East Jackson Church of Christ, our leadership decided that they thought it would be very, very timely to uh, show some appreciation to all of our first responder okay. agencies. Uh, you know, during the pandemic and after the pandemic, everyone, they did such a great job through that process, and people tended to, you know, give right. accolades then, but then as things got back to, normal, back to normal, you know, we tend to go back to our normal selves and <laughs> okay. say, well... But they are continuously uh, taking care of this community, and we decided that it would be wonderful to honor all of them at an okay. appreciation program. Okay. We're going to have a small program to begin, and then we're going to have food, and people can call, mingle, and we've got some jump houses for kids, and uh, you know we've got all the agencies. We've got the Jackson Police Department, the Jackson Fire Department, Madison County Sheriff Department coming, Madison County Fire Department, Emergency Management Administration, okay. wow. EMS, also both 911 centers, the county and the city uh, uh, wow. dispatchers, okay. and the state troopers, and the helicopter. And the helicopter. Airbag okay. 7, yeah. Okay. Wow. Hopefully. So, so, so you'll, you'll begin with a presentation at 10 or whatever? 10, a small program, <laughs> yes. Okay. And we'll be honoring them. And uh, Then after that, it's lunch and fellowship? Lunch, eat, and just enjoy yourself. Okay. We have a mini touch, touch a truck kind of thing where okay. they're going to the bring their vehicles and people can talk with okay. the officers and talk with the responders. And the helicopter's supposed to come. Hopefully they'll be there. Because our church is designated for East Jackson as a landing area for them. It oh, has okay. a bigger parking lot. Okay. Like when an incident happened a couple of years ago down in Hillcrest Circle, they had asked if they could land there. They could land there. And so okay. they decided that that's the best. And they said, could we do it if we ever have to do that again? Has, so, the, has the congregation done this before? Or is this no, this time? is the first time. First time. First okay. time. Yeah, first time. And okay. So it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's well, well deserved. And uh, they, you know, especially with the 911 people, they're the, they're the faceless heroes. Mm -hmm. You call them and you just right. hear their voice. Right. And they deal with a lot of, Ooh, you know, I talked with Lenanda about, it takes a unique personality it does to take be a, a 911 person. operator. Yeah. You're right. You've got to stay calm when people are panicking and, you know, a tragedy has happened. So you've got to be able to keep them composed and keep yourself composed. Well, you know, it takes a special person to be a, a first responder anyway. Anyway, that's correct. <laughs> Definitely we a 911 operator. But uh, yes, have, for sure. This community should be proud of our responders. Well, I don't know, you had some Patrick Willis? Was Patrick the, Willis was is the there. Yeah. there. Barry Trulove used to be in the office. He, he's there. He's okay. on program. He, they're okay. members of yeah. our congregation. They, they were so, yes. with PD a long time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I heard you talking about we, we still want to slip in some football. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's I mean, Friday. T t Tony's got on his shirt. He got his wrong shirt. He usually wears green. He's a Cougar man. Cougar man. Right. So we, we got the Cougars. The season Liberty. opener with Liberty. Yeah. Uh, and go, yeah. Be going to Lane Stadium. That'll be this Friday That's night. Right. Yeah, game time or show time is 7 o'clock for Friday Night Live. That's so we'll right. be, be back yeah. and ready to go. You got good people in here. Everybody I know that's in here today, on here today. So uh -huh. Some good people. Good people. So, that's right. But yeah, we hope people will come out and join us. Uh, this Saturday, 10 o'clock. So what, what does the church hope to accomplish with this? Well, we just basically want the community to know that we are a congregation that cares about our community and loves our community, and, and this is an outreach where we just want to honor our first response. Yeah. Nothing, it's just yeah. something we thought was a great thing to do for them. And yeah. this is open to anybody, anybody not just the, not everybody, just the church? Anybody. So anybody's invited. Okay. Everybody's well, that, that'll invited. be at the, the East Jackson Church of Christ this coming Saturday, the 24th, 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. Yeah. That's located. You will have lunch, right? 1461 well, East Chester. East Chester. Yeah, lunch. We got, we got grilling. We grilling burgers and hot dogs. History of this church. Tony, that congregation <laughs> goes back. At one time it was down on Hollywood, I think, years ago. Uh, no, it started out. Out on Hunt Street. Hunt Street, Hunt Street. Yeah. And then it moved to Middleton and Payne. Okay, that's And then right. this okay. building we were in was the East Chester Church, Church of Christ. Christ. 
and the congregation really got older and they right. kind of blended and went into Campbell Street. Started, okay. And the building was available and we purchased, purchased. it back okay. in uh, the, the 80s. Right. It's a fixture in yeah. East Jackson. It Community. is. It's called the East Jackson Church yeah. Christ. Yeah. It's good to see you. Good to see you, Tony. We'll we'll thanks see you so much. Step up your shoe game, <laughs> Steve. <Okay>. Uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens <laughs> next we'll, week. We'll see Tom. what happens out there. <laughs> we're delighted to have this young lady with us and we're going to be talking to her later in this show. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will, this is Brooke Cagle and Friends. From time to time, life may throw us a curveball. Even with the best of efforts, maintaining the essentials like utilities can be difficult. With UtiliCare, you can make a donation to help provide utility assistance to families right here in Jackson. Your contribution makes a difference for those families struggling to pay utility bills. Go online to learn more or donate. jacksenergy.com forward slash UtiliCare. The Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation every two years does an unannounced on-site review to evaluate every facet of a water system. Inspection includes real-time water sampling, records reviews, personnel training, certification, and more. A perfect score is $599. For the third consecutive inspection covering the last six years, the Jackson Energy Authority Water System achieved a perfect score, $599, 100%, three consecutive times. That seldom happens, but it happened now at JEA Today. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Never gonna let you go. Welcome back to Six in the City. We will have more with uh, Brooke Hagel and friends. That's right. Good to have everybody Then we'll here. find out who our friends are. Yeah, we'll find out all about that. Beth Ann Simpson is with us 
right now with Downtown Development Corporation, Jackson Downtown Main Street, or whatever it is now. Our JDDC. 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 Jackson it's Downtown easy. That's Development. That's much easier. There, there. Let's keep it simple. All right. It's good to have you here. <laughs> Thank we you. We got exciting things. We're talking about music. Hope McGregor. This coming Friday. Yes, night. this Friday amp show. Seven thirty. Um, Seven thirty. The, the weather's great this week, so it'll be perfect. It'll be perfect. A great Come. night and a perfect band. I know. She's and awesome. She's she is us. awesome. And it's her first amp show. That's what she was telling us. She yes. said it was first amp show. Um, so it should be exciting. And come out to have dinner before, make plans to eat at food trucks or grab Blacksmith Rock and Dough. Okay, and all of the yes. places. That are, Support uh, our local restaurants. Yeah. And then That's right. We got the new, what is it, Ice House? The Ice House? Yes, Ice House of Jackson it has got some raving reviews, I okay. feel like. Mm -hmm. um, they're on Baltimore, yeah. Baltimore, across from the courthouse. Um, it's a pub grub. Pub so grub, they've got okay. beer and ciders, but then they have a, a small menu, too, for lunch okay. and dinner. So for, they I've are great open for lunch and dinner. They are. Still okay. in the kitchen, of course, in the Dixie Castle, the <coughs> per perennial perpetual anchor yeah, that's for right. downtown that's restaurants. Right. So exciting things happening here. Yes. Speaking of food, you also got Food Truck food Friday. Food Truck coming. Friday, next Friday, the 30th, 30. um, 1130 to 130, sponsored by JEA. I'm grateful for them. We have um, live music is Carita Cole. Okay. And um, she actually works downtown, so um, it's kind of fun to pull from our local artists and also our, our downtown folks. Right. Um, so she'll be performing, and then we have a lineup of five or six food trucks. Um, we have them different every time. So if you I was going to say, anybody new? Yeah, they're all new. So we have Rolling Out Egg Rolls, O Taste and See, um, Royal Route um, Barbecue, uh, Llamas Frozen Treats, and Sweet and Slug Burgers. So oh, wow. all different ones from West Tennessee. Um, come out and try something new. Support right. these food trucks. We'll have live music, some games. Right there on Lafayette, next to the local. Um, we'll have a road closure. Next, next, next Friday. Friday. Next Friday. Yes. The, it's always the final Friday. Friday. Final Friday. And so we'll have two more after this, September and October, okay. and that'll wrap up our Food Truck Friday season. Okay. So make plans to come. Just right. just make plans final Friday that you're going to eat downtown, right. downtown at a food truck. Because you can not only get your uh, lunch at the food trucks, you can get your dessert. That's right. We at, always have a, a sweet treat, too. Dessert there or dessert at the... Um, or Sprinkle Me Sugar yes, at the local. Sprinkle me sugar. That's right. We'd love for you to pop in the local shops, too, while you're there. Okay. Um, Perfect opportunity. Yes. We had another, um, speaking of food, another um, business open on the corner of Liberty and Lafayette, and that's the bodega. The, but so that's if you need right. a quick yeah. snack... Um, you just need to go in and pop in a, a corner store is really what it is. It's an and elevated corner store. Grand opening is today? They had it on Monday. Monday Their grand yesterday. opening is Monday. Yeah, I knew it was sometime um, soon. And they even have <coughs> some other local downtown foods there. Turntable Coffee's Pastries are there. Okay. They've got some other grab-and-go items from Estanala Barbecue. I don't know if you've okay. seen that they're now um, parked and this outside is at Liberty of and Liberty and Lafayette, Lafayette. Right the corner there. The corner. there. Okay. It's called the Bodega. Okay. And then um, Estanal Barbecue opened up today okay. in Fox Park, so their food truck is parked I saw there that. Yeah. with other plans to come. Nice. But they're it's parked exciting. there for now. Okay. okay. Yeah. Wow. Lots of okay. good things happening downtown. You got to come downtown, shop, eat, play. That's right. Absolutely. Plenty and then um, make plans to be. There's several other series. Um, we have yoga in the park series oh, that right. will continue in September and October. Well, and so we don't end in October. Too. Stay yes, busy it will. All the time now. Yes, and then the art walk series. They'll run it the first Friday okay. of September, okay. October, and November. Oh, it goes through November. That's okay. right, the first Friday. So make plans to come to the art walks too. The one in September sixth is over at the Jackson Walk area. Okay. Um, and they'll have live music too and artists set up. Um, so come out for that and support okay. the Jackson Arts Council for that. And that the first Friday art walks are from what, what time? They're from 5 to 7.30 p.m. 30. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, it's happening. And food truck Fridays are lunch next That's week. right. Okay. That's right. Okay. right. Uh, if you, if you can't keep up with all that, you can yeah. go to downtownjackson.com. Okay. <laughs> we have an events calendar with anything that's happening downtown is on that calendar. Okay. And then all on, this, on and all then of the social media Social outlets. media, Instagram and Facebook, Downtown Jackson wow. TN. Downtown Jackson so TN. I know they got a jazz concert oh, coming the, Ned the 21st. Too. Yeah, yeah. They Absolutely. Stuff, yeah. They have been. DowntownJacksonTN.com. Lots of stuff going on. Right. Yes. Well, speaking of music. That's right. Thank you so much for being here. We'll be talking to her later in this show, but right now we're going to the main stage, and this is Brooke Cagle and Friends.
the sun is out and it's just too much. Whoa, whoa. Life is a mess, yeah, it's getting rough. Like clothes in my room, stuff is piling up. Whoa. Just too much. Whoa. Whoa. You know, I busted many a Bronco in my day, but I sure would like to drive one. Well, Podna, here's your chance. Just mosey on over to Lifeline Blood Services or donate at a mobile blood drive near you. Now through Labor Day. And enter for your chance to lasso a 2022 Bronco Sport from Joe Mahan Ford in Paris. Giving blood saves lives. And Joe Mahan and Lifeline are giving you a chance to win a Ford Bronco now through Labor Day. Every three years, the American Public Power Association recognizes public power companies that demonstrate proficiency in reliability, workforce development, safety, and system improvement. The recognition, RP3. The highest level RP3 is the Diamond RP3. In 2023, JA's Electric Division received the Diamond RP3 Award for the eighth consecutive time. This never happened before, but it's JEA today.
I don't remember how it started. Go to that. Our back and forth. It always came back. Dad! You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. We're going to talk about celebrities and golf and all kinds of things coming up. Doc, Don McCorry is with us along with Dr. Dexter Davis. Dr. Davis is with the University of Tennessee at Martin. Martin. Don is the director of the African American Chamber of Commerce here in Jackson and Madison County. And we have the Celebrity Golf Classic, the Follow Me Into Business, coming up Tuesday, September the 10th. Tuesday. Going to yes. do the event tree again. And so here we go. And, what uh, year is this for this the golf This is number tournament? 13. Lucky wow. number Lucky 13. Lucky, 13. Lucky number okay. 13. Okay. Yes. All right. So we, we got, who all have we got coming into play in this? Yes, it's been that long. Yes, you actually had hair when we started. Yeah, that's, okay. that, that's true. That, yes. I didn't have this wedding band. You didn't have a wedding band. Yeah. Well, got congratulations. Some new, got some but, new additions. Yes. Huh? Uh, this makes year number eight that wonderful son of Jackson, Ed Tutal Jones, will be joining us again wow. this okay. year. Uh, we also have the athletic director over at Lane College, Derek Burroughs, will be here. The Former Buffalo Bill, by the way. Yeah. For, yes. And Memphis State Tiger, and. Or University of Memphis Tiger. Yeah. Yes. Uh, who else do we have coming? Jerry Reese, former Jerry general, Reese. general manager the, of the New York the New Giants. Giants. Uh, and uh, another son of Jackson, A.J. Merriweather. Former Harlem Globetrotters. Harlem Globetrotters. So we're going to have a number of people. Hopefully we have a couple of other surprises that show up that day as well. Okay. Right. All right. Now, the, the golf tournament speaks for itself. The tee off is at what time? Tee off is at 8.30. 8. 30. We have a welcome program that begins at 8. Okay. We have a ball drop contest ball drop. Okay. where individuals can win uh, $250 oh, by wow. buying a raffle ticket. Okay. Raffle tickets are only $5. Five or bucks. Five, mm -hmm. five for 20 Okay. Uh, for a chance to win 250 uh, and tee off shotgun start at 8.30. 8.30. And the gathering registration also will be around <laughs> 7 o'clock in the morning. Now, you've got, got a lot of teams already, but you, you want people to know they can come out and meet these guys? We've got a lot of teams. In, what, Dexter, for lunch? Or? Dexter's got a list of the number of the teams that we've got, actually, okay. that are scheduled to be All here. All right, Doctor. How <laughs> we do? I, don't, I don't have that list, but I know we've got 25. 25 <laughs> teams. We've got 25 teams. We've got 18 holes. We've got 25 yeah. teams. So, yeah, so... so, so some of you are going to have to double up, to double but, up. you know, we, yeah. we can make it work. And, and it, it's it's really exciting to see the growth of this uh, yeah, over sure the is. last few years. You know, we yeah. went from 18 to 22 or 23 to now we're at 25. 25. This is We'd like to get to 36, right, Don? That we yeah, two but we, we'd have to have two flights if we do that. <laughs> that would be a little tough, but we'll make it work. We'll make I it work. I saw a little panic on we, his face <laughs> when you said that. I was, yeah, I, I was going to, to uh, say, thank Dr. Dex, you're on your own. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I was going to thank JEA for once again participating in this event uh, and Portfolio Recovery, so PRA group. Those are our event sponsors, again, okay. for this year. So we're honored to have them. Uh, Let's talk about how this money is used, this Follow Me Into the, Business This program. money is a fundraising event for a program we call Follow Me Into Business. When the founding members of this organization 25 years ago decided that they were going to empower and put together a networking facility for minority businesses, they wanted to leave behind a legacy to the next generation behind them to be able to have the concept of being their own business owner. We were in a group of people that we were told by our parents to get up, go to work, go get a job. But nobody said that the job could be something that we create, mm -hmm. something that actually empowers our community. Mm -hmm. So uh, this program is open for students between the ages of 12 and 18. Okay. We have them during the months of June and July. I call it the, my reward for all of the fundraising that I do for the rest of the year to get to spend time with them in June and July. And they go through workshops. They get to meet some of the greatest mm -hmm. leaders here in Jackson and West Tennessee. Uh, we have tours of events. We also have the opportunity for those that are over the age of 16. We actually place them with an employer so that okay. they can work okay. and earn up, uh, up to 40 hours a week for the month of July. Dr. Don, how do, the, how do the kids get these opportunities? Well, the kids usually find we have a wonderful partnership with the Jackson-Madison County School System. And pr prior to spring break, 
That's when registration begins. Okay. okay. That parents are encouraged to come, come to our office or go to our website and find out information about the program. We typically have the schedule of the people that they are going to be able to meet and the events uh, that are going to happen with them during the during those two months. Okay. Well, the golf tournament's the 10th. And, September uh, the 10th. September it's 10th. right yeah, down the corner, you know. Right. Before we get away, you've got some students. <clears throat> Dr. Dexter works with, with a sports promotion and management and all that stuff at UT Martin, right? Yes, sir. You got your your young your students this year are gonna to go to Europe for the, yes, for we the are. NFL. So we, we are going to London for thirteen days. Oh wow. We're gonna work the uh, two NFL games that are being played in Tottenham Hotspur's soccer stadium. So we are working with an organization called Moonshot, which is the NFL's customer service organization and this is really cool. Our kids get to be a part of the recognition team. So they're gonna be undercover, so to speak, as fans in the stadium. And if they see somebody doing a really good job with customer service, they get a reward. Oh. And, and, and depending on, the, the student gets to make the call on you know how big the reward is. It, it, it can be anything up to a, a gift certificate okay. to the NFL shop or yeah. a, all kinds all of kind things. Games, okay. game tickets to the next year's games in, NF, in L London. So if, you want, if you want to get into sports management or any of that other work, you That's need right. to go to UT Martin. Right? Yes, you do. <laughs> you know, yes, you do. It's good to see you both. Thank, Thank you so much for being here, guys. At ben Tree. We'll ben be Tree. there. We'll be right back with more as we continue Six, Six in, in the, the City. city. Want to receive account information via text? When you enroll in JA Alerts, you can. Text to get a bill bounce, due date, set a payment extension, receive an outage notification, reply to report an electric outage, text JOIN, J-O-I-N, text JOIN to 53248-53248. Cell phone number must be current and attached to your JA account. Visit jacksenergy.com slash textalert for more information. At Southern Family Dentistry, we offer dental treatment for your entire family. We have the latest 3D digital x-ray system. We offer implants, veneers, teeth whitening, and all the other normal services you receive at the dental office. We have two offices, one in Milan and one in Jackson, and e broadband telephone services allows us to connect both of those offices. It doesn't matter which office the patient calls, we have the ability to speak to that patient at either location. Community Foundation of West Tennessee is our, our topic here. Beth Kaufman and Haley Fortune with us. Good to see you both. Good, Good to see you. Thank you for having us. All right, so the, 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 the charity game is always like a huge event in the city. Big, and that's big, still big. in November, but the patrons party has yes. been moved to something yes. different. September. It's got a completely new look this year, new day and a new location. So okay. um, we'll see you guys for the kickoff event for the charity gala on September 19th at 6.30 p.m., we are so grateful that our Board of Trustees Chairman, Jeb Campbell, and his wife, Caroline, have opened okay. their home for us to have the party at okay, their house. Okay, at their house. Okay, okay. yes. All right, so and that's and September the 19th. 19th. And we need tickets in advance for that, right? Yes. yes. Okay. And, and so tickets are $150 per person, and they are available online at thecharitygala.org. Thecharitygala.org. All right, so you, we're doing this in September. Then the gala itself comes up in... Second okay. Saturday in November, November, so November the 9th. Okay. okay. Sounds a little early this year, but that's the way Saturdays fell. So. <laughs> it's going to be where? It'll be here, here at, at the Civic, Civic Center, 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 as always. Okay. Yeah, okay. haven't made a change to that. Just and it okay. starts when? It starts at 6 p.m. 6 o'clock. Okay. On November the 9th. November okay. 9th, mm -hmm. which is a Saturday. Let me party for a moment. Need change, I mean, just activity, meet, greet, socialize, And what can whatever. we expect right. if we go to the patrons party? So um, a very lively atmosphere. We're going to be announcing our award recipients for this year's oh, okay. Um, okay. Event. Oh, so that'll be announced at night. Yes, yeah, okay. so we'll be Very announcing good. the Tigret Award, the May and Dr. Barnett Scott Service Award, and then all of our Jackson Award categories. Okay. Oh, so, wow. 
food, drinks, socializing. It's a guest favorite. You don't want to miss it. That's right. Um, we'll hope you come out and join us it's in September. Always fun. <laughs> All right, so the game itself now, what's, what's going to happen that night? So this year we are celebrating our local talent with a night of uh, arts, culture, and music. Uh, we have entertainment. Uh, we've partnered with No Reverse Records okay. as our entertainment sponsor, so we're having some local entertainment nice. this year. Um, we've got some inter live entertainment even during the cocktail hour. So we, we're shaking it up that way, just doing a little different, highlighting just all the wonderful things about West Tennessee. Um, we're also highlighting local artists, so mm -hmm. we'll have a lot of art um, from local artists okay. that'll be available for purchase. Oh, okay. So just doing some different things. So like a kicked up like night art gallery opening okay. kind of okay. feel. Okay. All right. now, All about West Tennessee. Okay. <laughs> the tickets for that are how much? Uh, three fifty per person tables start at 2500 sponsorships okay. start at 3500 okay. 35. and, and all that is available online at the charity gala .org. The charity, charity, charity gala. i can't even say that. the charity <laughs> gala i was it's trying to put it all together yes. Yes. so the award recipients will be recognized at the patrons party and then the gala is a whole different format now no they will be, still, still be still recognized, recognized that we're just adding the since we're earlier we yeah. have a chance to really kick okay. that off and announce them right. at the patrons okay. party um, whereas before it was the night before so we made those announcements ahead well let's of get an update Sunday. on the community foundation because there's a change in, in all this and so how's it doing and on what are you focused now oh it's been a great year okay. um we have seen some record growth uh we've been doing lots of things around west tennessee just renewing that focus on you know the full geographical area of West Tennessee. Um, we recently announced $75,000 in community impact grant awards. Um, so we are glad to be partnering with different groups all around our West Tennessee area. Okay, all right. Nice. And so if you want to know more about the, the foundation itself. Yeah. You can um, <laughs> go to our <laughs> website, website. cfwtn.org. cfwtn.org. CFWTN yes, and, and then we are website. on all the social media, Facebook, Instagram. Um, we do lots of fun content over on Instagram. You can catch <laughs> us participating in TikTok trends, um, and that's at Community Foundation West TN. Okay, okay. very so good. Facebook Community and Instagram. Foundation. Yep. West TN. All right. Perfect. We'll get those dates one more time. We're going to September the 19th. September 19th for the, for the patrons, patrons party. party. And then the charity gala itself will be November the 9th, and that'll be at the Carl Perkins Civic Center. Six and then And Caroline and Jeb Campbell's house for the patrons party. Yes. So it sounds fun. It it's is. fun. It's a busy season. Okay, great. It All is. Right, Good to see you both. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank you for having you. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're, well, we said something about birthdays. We're not going to mention that anymore. <laughs> we're, yeah, going, right. we're, go, we're going back to the main stage. We'll be talking to her next segment, I believe. That's right. Brooke Cagle and friends. Still vision. I keep my vision. 
presence to myself. Hi, I'm here to ask the people of Jackson to be a part of a groundbreaking program, Four Minute City. Every minute you don't get help after a sudden cardiac arrest, your chance of survival decreases by 10%. That's why friends of heart in the Jackson Fire Department have created a care team. A group of everyday citizens trained, equipped, and ready to save lives in our community. Please call this number or visit our website. Together, we can save lives. Tired of internet that leaves you waiting and monitoring your usage with extra fees? Switch to E-Plus Broadband from the Jackson Energy Authority for fiber optic internet with the fastest speeds to keep everyone connected. Enjoy being online as much as you want without worrying about extra fees or data usage limits. Perfect for when you need to download and upload large files, stream videos, or use your favorite video conferencing app. E-Plus Broadband, fastest internet, no data caps, no slowdowns, no worries. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. Welcome back to Six in the City, and she's been uh, with us uh, all all this show, and has uh, done a Studio Six with us. She's Jubilee been Simpson, entertaining us all through the show. All, all through the show. Brooke Hagel is with us, and who's this you got with you? This is Joe Kyle that I have with me. What's up? Mm. Joe's one of our most frequent guests. That's right. We, 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 we saw Joe. He was at the telephone flyers. Sunday. Yes. You know, at the Amp and everything yes. else. going to yes. be at the Amp this Friday I night. I am going to be at the Amp this Friday. Friday night. You're yes. just making the so, rounds, so aren't you? I'm trying to keep yeah. the rent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly. We well, all have well, to do that, well, right? Good, good to have you. Good to have you. All right, so, Brooke, what's the story of you and this music here? So, the first two songs that we played, uh, State I'm In and Lazy Saturday, are two songs from my debut album that I released last October. Okay. And Joe and I actually co-wrote most of the songs on the album, so I wanted okay. to have him up here with okay, me so, to promote right. him a little bit as well. And it's called Maps, and you can find it anywhere that you can stream music. I also have um, physical copies of CDs if anybody ever wants to okay, buy them, fantastic. too. So, okay. yeah. All right. So. Nice. That was, was it done here at Jackson Records? We recorded everything at Jackson, everything. Records. Jackson, Jackson Records. Records. All right, excellent. All right, so this turned out to be a good studio. Yes. Yes, I mean, it is. I, the people that have recorded there, even people that are not from here, when they record there. Oh, they a lot of people have come through here. You know, 
the house engineer is okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we've actually gotten a lot of business uh, these past few years. We recorded both of Lauren Lolo's yeah. last two records right. there, okay. and that was a blast. But I've been so happy to have Brooke over. We actually wrote two of those songs in the studio and okay. then knocked wow. it. Okay. Almost Same every day. song we co-wrote, we wrote recorded and pretty much had done that day. The same yes. day. Wow. We yes. were so excited about them that we had to yeah, get them. Uh, apparently. <laughs> apparently. Okay. Apparently. Yes. So. So Brooke, how do you Saturday describe like how do you describe this? How many songs you got on the album? There are ten songs on the album. Once again the album's name the name Maps. Of Maps. Maps. Ten songs. So what are they? Uh, like, what are they about? What is the whole... Yeah, the, uh, your genre? I mean, how, I, it's a little it? bit of everything. It's kind of hard to pinpoint. And so we kind of, we just put it under singer-songwriter. Um, it's a little bit all over the place. There's some pop. There's some rock. There's some worship music on it. Yeah, a so bit what of inspired you to, to, to do the album? Well, I've always wanted to record original music. Was it music. your first one? It Sorry. was my first, Okay, yes. so it was your first um, one. So I've been... Trying to write music since I was in high school, and it took a long time for me to ever write a song that I liked enough to really share with another person. Um, but eventually, I started writing some more, and then I started writing some more with Joe, and we had a few songs that we really liked, and so we decided to get in the studio and record them. So and it was and a dream come true for me, and honestly. Here, and here you are, right? And here I am. Because you used to do the musicals with the Northside Church, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I grew up in Northside Church and grew up doing youth musicals. So the first time I was ever on Six in the City, the first few times I was in high school singing for okay. those. I yeah. thought so. Yeah, exactly. All right, so well, where do exciting. you want this to go, Brooke? Where do I want this to go? Yeah. Anywhere that it, that I can take it, honestly, okay. yeah. I My goal with my music is to write songs and lyrics that people can relate to, whether it's silly stuff like our song Lazy Saturday about just wanting to go back to bed on a Saturday morning or the more serious things. Um, I just want people to hear themselves in my lyrics. Um, so you ever doing anything and all of a sudden you think, oh my gosh, that would make a great song? Yes, yes, I do. Then Unfortunately, out, most of those times are the songs that are harder to write for yeah. me. I don't know. It's the ones that come out of nowhere. Like when we wrote the song Lazy Saturday, we wrote it very quickly because we were just really inspired to write it. And we said, this is just a silly song about going back to bed. And um, we like to do a thing with our writing process where we would ask ourselves what we think the song wanted to be. Because it started out really relaxed, and then yeah. we were like, this is a rock song. We're gonna <laughs> you, rock. you were literally playing the acoustic. I was like, this is going to be an acoustic, you know, fine little indie folk type thing. And then all of a sudden I did something on piano, and then we were both looked at each other. It's like, okay. Pop punk it is. Okay. <laughs> Pop punk. So, here we go. so it just basically evolves into what yeah. it needs to be, exactly. right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. What it needs okay. to be. It Who tells the story. With you today? Who you today, so we have Joe and I, and then on bass, there's Tyrell Williams. On drums, we have Brandon Powers, and then my sister, Millie Hayes, is singing with me, and then my best friend, Ashley Powers, is singing okay. with me, too. All right. All right. We have it's good it's a great group. We've it been, is a great group, yeah. Definitely enjoying the music. Okay. We always Are love you when the full band comes. Are you still writing, contemplating yeah. more another <laughs> album? Yes, um, so I have some more songs done. Nothing really recorded yet okay. in that process. Kind of just been honing the skill a little bit more. But We're, my goal is to write and okay. record more, yes. Really good awesome. to have you here. Yes, thanks appreciate so much for being here. here. We appreciate it. Brooke Hagel, we'll be hearing more from her That's as right. we close out this show. We'll be right back with more Six, Six in, in the, the City. city. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a big mistake. Hey, Joe, think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have the utilities marked before you start digging? I'm not digging very deep. It's no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Dad, the TV's out. Internet, too. Remember, safe digging always starts with a free call to 811. Oh, what a knucklehead. Do you love sports? Then you should know about STEM. Because maximizing nutrition, analyzing peak muscle performance, calculating the perfect shot, and more are all made possible by science, technology, engineering, and math. In fact, there are more careers than ever in sports science. So if you have a passion for sports, then think about getting involved in STEM and improve everyone's game on and off the field. Get inspired at SheCanSTEM.com. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? 
doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. Welcome back to Six in the City, and uh, we got several things to start getting on your calendar. Right. We're headed towards September. Don't That's forget right. the International Food and Arts Festival is going to be the 21st. At the fairgrounds this year, they've expanded the hours from 10 a.m. till 6 And that's a free event open that's to anybody. That's a free event, yeah. They're going to unveil the logo now for the Tennessee Games. Oh, that's right. That we're hosting. Right. And, yeah. and so the, 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 the star games, the, I mean the state games the of state Tennessee. The state games of Tennessee. And they're going to do that Thursday, so be looking for that. That's and this those, Thursday they're going to yeah, do, do is that. Is that going to be done... Uh, special press release, or I is think that going to be they're going to do this at the chamber at nine o'clock Thursday ah, morning. Okay. So we'll be looking for that in local news, and it will be. Of course, the state games will be next year. But this well, be a you say next thing. year, but you know it's just. A just, just a few months, a few months, months away. away. <laughs> a few months away. And, of course, Hope McGregor is going to be at the Amp this coming Friday night. That's right. Don't forget the food truck Fridays, the yeah. final Fridays of the month. And we got and football. That's right. High school football. Friday Night Live is back. That's right. 41st year. Gosh. 41st season for, that's, for that's football crazy. on cable television here. So. That's a lot. I wasn't here at the first game. If you want to know what's happening on 6 in the City, just watch us on eplustv6.com. Stream us live on the website. Or catch us on 206 or uh, 206 HD or or E Plus TV Channel Six. All right, yeah. All right, Lots there of opportunities. You go. Good to see you. You too. It's good to be here. All good right, to be seeing. Good to be alive. Being to see. We're going to close it out. We thank them for being. Thank you for being with That's us. Right. We'll see you next week. We thank them for being with us once again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Brooke Cagle and friends. Thoughts just keep on spinning These lies are made